Hi. My name is Bob. I am a game developer. I am working in a game but the problem is that I do not have enough fund to complete my project. I went to a bank to have a loan in order to proceed and finish the game. But unfortunately, they refused my request. This could be the story of so many people around the globe. I know it is a sad story. But Bob did not lost the hope. One day he met his old friend Alice. And she suggested a solution. Crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is a form of alternative finance, which has emerged outside of the traditional financial system. Its model is based on three types of actors, the project initiator who proposes the idea, the project to be funded, and finally, individuals or groups who support the idea. In general crowdfunding can be divided into four different types. Reward-based, equity-based, debt-based, and finally, donation-based crowdfunding. Let's have a look on the reward-based model as it is the most common type of crowdfunding all over the world. This involves giving rewards to the funding people or firm. This is used for many purposes including free software development, an invention or scientific research. The most common methods for offering the reward are Early and advanced access to the product or service Give credit to all of your contributors Give opportunity to meet the people behind the project Offers special parties as a reward to donors Wow! Very interesting! But, can you tell me when was the first crowdfunding campaign? Okay, as far as I know there is no clear evidence of what could be as the first campaign. But, let me give you a brief history. As of 1885 the Statue of Liberty was in New York in pieces, awaiting assembly. The statue was a diplomatic gift to the U.S. However, the U.S. had been unable to raise $250,000 for a granite plinth for the statue. A group called the American Committee of the Statue of Liberty was tasked with raising the money but fell short by more than a third. It seemed as though New York had run out of options, when renowned publisher Joseph Pulitzer decided to launch a fundraising campaign in his newspaper The New York World. The campaign eventually raised money from more than 160,000 donors. It was a triumphant rescue effort. In just five months the world raised $101,091, enough to cover the last $100,000 to complete the pedestal. And have money left over for a gift for the sculptor. Nowadays crowdfunding projects are started and hosted by many different platforms. As of 2012, there were over 450 crowdfunding platforms. Project creators need to exercise their own due diligence in order to understand which platform is the best to use depending on the type of project that they want to launch. There are fundamental differences in the services provided by many crowdfunding platforms. For instance, Crowdcube and Cedras are internet platforms which enable small companies to issue shares over the internet and receive small investments from registered users in return. While Crowdcube is meant for users to invest small amounts and acquire shares directly in startup companies, Cedras on the other hand pools the funds to invest in new businesses, as a nominated agent. Bob in this story could be any ambitious person in this world. You, he, or she. So, what are you waiting for? You should start today and feel the greatness of crowdfunding.